At least 20 people are dealing with the fallout of an overnight carport fire. It destroyed several cars and damaged others. Happened just before one this morning near 103rd and Metcalf in Overland Park. Fox Force Jonathan Ketz live now from the club at Indian Creek Apartments where tenants were awakened by the big blaze. John. Yeah, a sad situation is just uh, right behind us, uh, John and Lauren. Take a look at it right here. Seven cars completely uh, gone. They are obviously undrivable, as you can see why. They are charred. They are burnt from where this fire happened earlier this morning. The Overland Park Fire Department sent us this video. When their crews arrived on scene, flames shooting out of the carport. It's at 1 30 and my neighbor come to my door. Adrian Copto lives at the club at Indian Creek Apartments. He woke up to news of the fire on Monday. And I back to my room, I try to keep the keys for the, move my car, but when I back, it's too late. It's, uh, it's in the fire. Copto's Jeep Grand Cherokee was one of the seven destroyed by the fire. I guess the, the fortunate thing again is obviously life safety comes first. OP fire spokesman Jason Rhodes does not know how the fire started. The property damage to the cars is significant, though, and he hopes everyone's insured. Certainly it's an inconvenience and certainly it's a, um, a problem for those involved, and I don't mean to, to lessen their headache in any way, shape or form. Uh, but again, we're, we're just pleased that no one was hurt. When it comes to Copto's situation, he's called his insurance agent to see what he can do. He says he'll call him back in the next day or two to find out what happens. At this time, he does not know whether he can replace his Jeep and he's upset. I lose the hours in my job, so I don't have the other vehicle to move to my job. So. 20 cars damaged total, seven destroyed. The other 13 are uh, uh, just past this fence here, like where we're at right now, and you can see the damage um, melted off. Uh, some of that metal um, is melted off, so a tough situation for even the drivers and the owners of these cars who are still drivable at this time. We're live tonight in Overland Park. I'm Jonathan Katz, Fox 4, working for you.